Hi everybody, welcome to another um, Crafty Christmas at Doolally Crafts. It's a really easy card today. All we're using, or all I'm using for today, is the Candy Cane Season bundle that's just come out in our new Christmas catalogue release. I think this is between $50 and $70, so it's not bad. You get a punch that you'll be able to use forever, as well as a lovely um, photopolymer stamp set that's got um, sentiments in, as well as a lot of nice stamps. Okay, I'm not going to waffle on, and hopefully I'm not going to get a fit of the giggles through um, the card today. All the measurements and everything can be found on my blog. So we've got some Whisper White cardstock, some Poppy Parade cardstock. We're only using two stamp sets, Poppy Parade and the Memento Tuxedo Black. And we're using three stamps out of the set. Okay, we'll start off with, this is just a thin layering piece of Whisper White. As you'll all be aware, we have two different versions. There's the Thick Whisper White, which is ideal for making card bases out of, or for making boxes and what have you. But we've also got the thin one, which is great for um, layering. So I've just stamped the large um, candy cane out. And I've done it upside down. <sighs> okay. Let's see how we can position this. If it takes me too long, I'll fast forward. <sighs> Better idea. Come in with this. Little bit of tape. Runner. There we go. And that should go in fine now. Yep, yeah, I can man manage to wiggle it okay that was a bit tough going through because of the extra card stock there but there we go we've got a candy cane all punched out and what I'm going I might actually do too I've got no sample for this card I wanted to do a really simple Christmas card that anybody can do if they've only got one stamp set and a couple of inks. So it just shows you how easy it is to put a card together with our Stampin' Up! products because everything matches. Now if you wanted to get some of our products really easily and you're here in Australia Instead of spending, you know, a hundred or two hundred dollars on different products and only getting a few and paying retail, how about you join my team and you'll be able to buy up to two hundred and thirty five dollars worth, I'm pretty sure it is, of products at wholesale price from Stampin' Up. I reckon that's a brilliant idea. So, <laughs> of course I do. I want you in my team. Okay, let's get going with the card again. So, I'm going to bring in my layering pieces. Now, I've got the Poppy Parade. I'm going to pop that aside. But I'm going to bring this piece in, which is five and a half inches by two inches, I'm pretty sure. But as I said, it'll be on my blog. And I'm just going to stamp... these other candy canes just haphazardly down the length of the um, the strip and then I'm going to pop some snail just on the back here Pop that down the centre. That looks really nice. Okay. Bring in our layering piece. And where are they? My dimensionals. And I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back here. Now, 
Now, if you're not aware, I've actually got some Christmas card classes starting on the 1st of October, but registration is open at the moment here in Australia. It's going to be open, well, it's opened yesterday from the 5th to the 21st of September. The, un the only way to register is going and buying the stamp set and the two ink pads that I've got on my um, card classes page. And then once you've done that, you're automatically enrolled for my card class and you will be sent all of the makings to make six cards and two 3D projects, which are boxes that you can use either as table centerpieces or you can hang them from your Christmas tree. The choice is yours. But you get everything to make that as far as papers, ephemera. All you need to have is your snail and dimensionals and maybe some glue dots and you can join my card making class. So if you would like to, just follow the link on my um, card class page on my blog. I'll put the link down below anyway. Now, as I said, because I don't have a sample for this card, I'm doing it on the fly. Uh, so I'm just going to bring in another piece of Whisper White. Whoops, not that. And I just need to trim off another two inch piece. And make it two inches by three inches. And hopefully it's going to layer quite well on here. Right, I've just got to make that three and a quarter which is there. Now I'm also going to bring in a stamp which has got ho 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 written all over it. Once again it's from the same stamp set so it's not as though you've got to go and buy a whole new stamp set because this is included in this one. Oh, you'd think after all the times I've used the Poppy Parade in the last few days that it would work well by now. Okay, make sure I've got it up the right way. I'm just going to stamp there. Line these up. Like that. You can see a little bit of it, but never mind. Another one there. And another one there. That's not too bad, actually. And I mean, that's only eyeing it off, up. If I was hovering over the top, I would have gotten it straighter. But it doesn't matter because we're going to have that in the middle of it. Okay. I wanted it more of a white space card. But I have discovered I seem to have an aversion or a fear of creating white space on cards. And I'm not quite sure why. Okay. Now this is where the fun begins. Because I'm going to... Originally I had a bow punched out. But I decided no. I wanted a bit of texture on the card. So instead of doing a punch out. I wanted to put... A a real bow on the card and as you're all, all no doubt aware I'm hopeless at tying bows so that's gone out the window and we will put there we go so just move that up a bit give it a trim like so and we'll pop that on there with dimensionals to give it a bit of oomph. One there. One there. And one there. Now 
I'm going to pop that on there like so. Get rid of all these bits and pieces to the side. That's actually going to sit there. Now I need to bring in my off cut of white. I've got lots of these because I always trim my cards down so that the American audience can actually create these cards too with very similar measurements. Okay, bring that in, bring that in. Uh, Stampin' Majig has now been taken over by our um, Stamparatus. Stamparatus, however you pronounce it. But I don't have one. All I have is my Tim Holtz and I only needed to stamp this one sentiment today with the memento so that is why I'm using my stampamajig because I figured it was a lot easier okay I'm just going to bring this in and trim it to within an inch of its life there we go and turn it round and trim it once again a bit further down I only want it small a little bit more. I hope you can see this. I hope I'm not off camera. No, it needs a little bit more. So we'll come down another eighth of an inch. That's it. Slice that off. And if we pop that there. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. As I said, making this on the fly um, means that uh, I have no idea where the card's going to end up. So I'm going to pop that just along like that. Bring in some dimensions, dimensionals again. Just down the side that's going to be off the edge of the banner. So that will sit along there. Actually, I'm going to pop it up twice. So another three down there and one in the middle. And then I'm going to top these ones. With another three. One. And if my phone starts ringing in the next few minutes, it's Miss 14 wanting a lift home from school. I have no idea what the time is. I know it's close to three o'clock. Okay, almost finished. There's no hubby sneezing down in the lounge room today. He's at dialysis. Okay, so we're going to pop that, try and make sure it's fairly even. Okay, I want the same distance on either side as from top and bottom, and I think that's about it. Okay, now open the card up, and I haven't got anything inside, so we're going to pop Be Jolly, which is, I think, one of the very few stamps that I haven't used from this set yet. So bring that in. Another stamp block. And I'm just going to wing this bit. There we go. Be jolly down the bottom. And one more just up the top there. Okay. That is our card done for today. Get rid of all these dimensional bits and pieces. 
and the dirty sheet. There we go. Save that for later. Okay, that's our card today. I hope you've really liked it and I hope you give it a go. Once again, it's a lovely, nice, bright but simple card and it's using only one stamp set, which I think is a bonus. So all you need for this card is the Candy Cane Season bundle and some white and red cardstock. How easy. Okay, that's enough from me today. And I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.